My name is Ben Bumper, and we pack Gracie's points for Capital Seaport. This morning we left the harbor at about 5 a.m. Uh, we went out and did like a typical harvest. Uh, Tuesdays are kind of a lighter day for me. We pulled 30 bushels of oysters, um, most of which will be packed today. I commercial fished in Monsters, North Carolina for about five years and a friend of mine's father was running a large oyster farm for a Wanshee's Fish Company and they were doing well and I basically wanted to do something on my own and that's what led me to it. Typical day for us is harvest uh, right around sunrise or at least be leaving by sunrise um, and pull what I feel is what we will need for that day. Return to the dock get the product from the cooler to the town and ice it down and run it, pack it and ship it. Some of the difficulties of growing oysters are the upfront cost, uh, marketing your own brand, honestly finding places to sell them, and all of the infrastructure that goes into shipping your own product that a lot of people don't see when they purchase it at their restaurant. Uh, you guys have seen today, I've employed five people. I have two boats, large piece of lease ground, Big power bills, ice machines, refrigerated trucks, all of it. What makes my wish unique is that I strive to have a consistent product. Uh, I frequently will cut orders if I feel I'm packing an inferior product, even if it shorts the person I'm selling them to. I don't uh, want to hurt the relationship I have with surprises and boxes, I should say. Now, you truly can eat oysters all year round. In fact, my peak sales are June, July, and August, by and large. Meat quality is high in the summertime. If you'd like to try a Gracie's Point, I would, I would surely uh, want you to reach out to Capital Seaboard and support your local farmers in the Shinkatee Bay.